Hey guys, I'm going to hopefully distill in a few minutes a lot of learnings over the past few months about how to upgrade an ECS cluster. So let's quickly begin by using an old version of ECS CLI so I can show you because the old versions have the old AMIs in them uh, and I'll basically show you how you upgrade them. So this is the ECS CLI in question. Here is um, an example which you can uh, use to follow and I'm just using my personal account here. So um, first things first I'm running an old version of the ECS CLI you should be using a much more uh, modern version. I've got a check out here so I can switch between them. So let's get going. I have a completely blank slate here. So let's get going by bringing up the cluster. Um, if I remember correctly this does all the cloud formation setup which takes time. I'm going to be editing this down and then um, probably getting one machine running and going with all the defaults which are pretty good actually except the fact that they have uh, hard-coded AMIs in it. So if you're basically using an old CS, ECS CLI version you'll, you'll have an old outdated vulnerable ECS, uh, AMI running there too. Not good. Right, so while you're waiting for the cloud formation to come up, you can actually track what's happening by maybe looking at the uh, EC2 panel, see that the instance is coming online. It's micro by default, I believe. And it's also created a new VPC, 1AE. So it's completely isolated. Also, there should be now a cluster here. Here we go. Cluster count. And here we should be able to see our containers once they come online. Um, container instance is basically the EC2 that runs the container. Sorry. So let's create a task for it to run. What next do we do? Um, this is a quite tricky advanced thing. This is to create the load balancer. Um, you kind of need to know what VPC it's in actually. Um, SG018, oh, here we go. Three. And then I have to make sure the uh, Subnets are the same. Um, it's 2B and 65. SG1. Okay, now we set up the, the load balancer. Um, now let's scale up, i.e. Uh, run two container instances. Um, but we're actually not running the, the container, um, sorry, we're not running the Docker image yet on those. We should be able to see the easy 2 backed instances running here. So this should be the old AMI. Let's just HHH into them to make sure that is the case. This one's running. Oh, probably have to edit the uh, security group. Inbound, let's add SHH rule. And then we should be set. 
So you can see this is the old AMI. Usually, actually, it's flagged here, the saying out of date um, agent or something like this. And I think it gives you um, a button here to update the agent. But updating the agent is just, you know, one tiny part to the AMI. I mean, okay, a big part to the AMI. You, you want to update Docker, you want to update everything. That means you have to update the, the, um, the cloud formation with the new AMI. This is the important bit. So how do you do that? Uh, okay, let's go back to the cluster and let me show you without this not, okay, so now we have two out of date AMIs here. Uh, I can probably show you the version here. The versions are where's the AMI here? Yeah, they're out of date. You want to upgrade them. The way you do that is with CloudFormation. So let's do that. Uh, update stack. Yep. This is what we need to update. To get the latest version, I just go here. This is a. Uh, this is what I. So yeah, it's hard coded, unfortunately, into the ECSCLI. Okay, next. Uh, I'm not too sure why I have to take that, but anyway. So now there's an update going. Now we've said the new AMI, and now we have to upgrade the machines to the new AMI. So let's go back to ECS to see what we have. So to have no downtime, you'd scale up and then scale back down again. So scale up. Now these should scale up the new AMI 2016.9. I think in parallel I can probably deploy a service. This means it's going to scale on, on um, deploy on two of the instances. This particular service of mine, just a test service. Okay, so this is the important bit, guys. The new um, I can probably track what's happening in here. You can see two new ones are just initializing with the two hundred sixteen oh nine AMI. So basically, job done at this point. This is how you do it. This is how you you keep your ECS cluster. Um, patched and up to date. So once these come online and the services are running on them, then you you scale down uh, down to two, and which should which should kill the older 2013 ones. Let me just demonstrate that to you. Oh, and all this time the load balancer should be doing all the checks, and you shouldn't lose a single request. But uh, you might want to do it a little bit slower than I did. And uh, always check this um, status here. So they're all looking. Still initializing them. Let's see if my count service is actually working properly. Looks good. All right. Um, Scale down to two. And with any luck, the old AMIs will be killed and the service will still be running.
Okay, two things have been killed. Let's check the EC2 management. As you can see, the two new ones are running. Two old ones are being put offline. So that's how you update the AMI. Um, and that's how you keep your cluster patched on AWS ECS. If you like the video, please give it a like. Thank you for watching, and please drop any questions. Thanks very much. Bye.